more or less fine so yeah let's do medium uh, I'm tired of traveling or fighting superstition and its many manifestations even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway the man with endless occult knowledge before I knew it People all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm Look at boys this. who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. Look the at the shadow officer, thing. Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was gonna pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me, but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago. Asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. That's such a spot on Irish accent. Right, okay. So, this is definitely a first person shooter, sort of. We have FPS controls, we have jump, duck. Ooh. It'd be glowing. Look around. Okay, I'm looking around. Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah is now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. Apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah <laughs> let go of everyone else, and the house is much Bold choice of words. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. Yeah, I hope so too. Not a Gran Po. And thank Ooh. Okay.
Okay, we pick up health packs the way you would. Jammed. Stock. Stock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we we're living the meme, guys. Your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Here. Anything I can do, just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. Hmm. The rest of the hell was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. No, tab is for speaking. Because this is the Unreal Engine, isn't it? It feels like the Unreal Engine. I mean the original one. Do I want to shoot you? Yes. Yeah, it definitely feels like the controls feel very much like controlling Unreal Tournament 99 or the first Unreal games. That's because the game is sinister. Working mirror. Yeah, because that's Unreal, the Unreal Engine. That's why it's working. <laughs> that's actually our model. It's not a recreation or a stand in for our model. The Unreal Engine has real reflections. <laughs> Yo, welcome in. Okay, so we, we want to start shooting then.
Ooh. Two of you guys. Well, that's fun, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yeah, I was interested in seeing whether the auto save works fine. It seems to. <laughs> you... you have to aim in Doom as well, Rob. You know that. Don't be a brat. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can figure out how to like this. I really like the design of this. I really like the layout and all. It's really beautifully done. You can do a lot, a lot with this engine, obviously. What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers. And while I've never seen one before tonight, I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this aisle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones, something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. <laughs> My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of I don't know. It. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them and put an end to this mess. Oh yeah, I'm great at puzzle solving. Secrets are gonna be revealed. Just watch. New journal entry. The scroll Jeremiah gave me has revealed a powerful spell. It seems that with proper concentration and focus 
of my mana, I am able to release ethereal boats of ectoplasm from my hand. Unreliable at far range, the mystical damage seems quite effective in close quarters. Okay, so we have a spell, ectoplasm. Nice fire. Have you noticed anything strange going on? Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during the commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. It's quite a mess. The butler said someone broke into Elizabeth's room. Perhaps I should investigate. Oh, good. I like this journal. What did he say? Just down the hall? Stuck. No, the game does a good job of directing you. what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she's spitting curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. Tis a pity her mother died birthing her. Oh, indeed. Following her mother's death, I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, no wasting sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick and watched her wither away to nothing. Pity a young woman has to die in the spring of her life. Ah, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> poor man. Seems we can believe that. Never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Thank you. I spoke with a maid about Lisbeth. The sibling's mother, Evelyn, apparently died, giving birth to her and the housekeeper filled the void of her maternal absence. This font is not ideal. <laughs> she said Lisbeth was a very beautiful girl with a short violent fuse who passed away from a wasting disease. I took note of the irony of someone who was so beautiful dying of such a hideous, heinous. Jeez, this font. A heinous disease that calls for the destruction of their vanity. Yeah. The may said that the groundskeeper believes to have seen Lisbeth alive. Having seen Lisbeth with my own eyes, I can only believe this may's frightful testimony. I'll go down to the kitchen and try to find my way to the gardens anyway. Okay, right. So, we don't need to be that elaborate with the journal entries do we know when this is supposed to be after world war one yes oh that's a shame one night when i cannot sleep i took from my bed on nights when i cannot sleep oh this is gonna be difficult I took from my bed to the monastery out my window the reflections to the waters that separate us ripple across the bedroom walls, filling the room with waves of mon moonlight. If it is quiet enough and the wind is still, I can hear the chanting. Their prayers row across the water and fall upon ears like a lullaby rocking me to sleep. It fills my body with such a quiet peace. And yet I can't help but wonder how something that provides so much security could at the same time haunt me. At midnight the chanting stops. The brilliant lights of the monastery go black except for a tiny glow that emanates from the entrance to the catacombs. As I watch that single light I can see the shadows of the monks at the entrance. It is then that I feel a slow creeping dread rise from my stomach as if the island somehow has a 
has a hold of me. I have overheard bits and pieces of a story from Bush conversations about monks who died a horrible death years ago among these grounds. It is said their tortured souls were put to the rest within the catacombs and that their, their two brothers have stood ground the entrance each night since. I cannot help but wonder why. What are they waiting for or hoping to ward off? Are they bound to the island with the same unknown force as I? The Lord works in such mysterious ways, but how can just how can a just God allow Can we carry on? Oh, over here. His own flock to be within sacred grounds. To die within sacred grounds, oh dear. This font is Surely there is another forest working among us, one capable of pure evil. A loving God could never allow such pain and agony. It is that forest that eats at me at night and leaves my dreams unsettled. Are the waters enough to keep me safe? I wish just once I could lie in the grass outside the catacombs for a night and put those haunted dreams to rest. I must end these nightly visions and seek the truth. Lisbeth. Okay, well, this is a Clive Barker game, so there is going to be some reading involved. So, strap yourselves in. <laughs> oh, they look lovely. What are you doing? so far Okay, okay, I know. Need a key. Won't budge. Nice bust. You're bleeding, my guy. Go oh, look, it's Croft Manor.
Ah, oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start saving. <laughs> The auto saves are probably good enough, but you know. Locked. Okay, it's locked. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna try the mana attack. The spells. Stuck. Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe she is cleaning Air Kaisinger's room today. It's located in the east wing of the house. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Okay. Door to the Manor Gardens is locked. The cook says the maid is the only one with the key and she's cleaning Kaisinger's room with the east wing. Uh, so I'm gonna go... I just press... <laughs> you guys, I just press tab to see the map. <laughs> I need to go to the east wing, wherever that is. I do want to use the spell though. Okay, it's not that... As long as you get it right. And the mana fills up. Okay! That's not how we look through bookshelves. Ah, here it is. I'm not sure what you found. Okay, I'll, I guess I will leave you to it. Or should I? Yeah, <laughs> a librarian would be really mad. Okay, why did I think there was a way to go? That's just a library. And it's a dead end. No? Wing key. Well, okay. The game does a good job of pointing you in the right direction. I don't think it would work, Sikis. He seems very ethereal. And also, he seems angry enough as it is. I don't want to disturb him further. 
Bethany often used this room as her office after Jeremiah left for the war. As her office. But there's no desk. Where is the desk? Offices need desks. Why, do I waste, uh, why would I waste my time with posers and fools? Really? Okay, yeah. I realize how that my... I realize now that my correspondence with these others has been a waste of time. Father had done more research than I could truly appreciate until now. Most of the other magicians are braggarts who act the part, but rarely have an inkling of the truth. Exposition made. <laughs> I have tried to contact the Golden Dawn, but have been ignored and insulted, since I am not from the continent. Alistair Crowley insists I become his acolyte. I suspect it is more of a her of a harem. Oh, okay. <laughs> his vanity is boorish and fraudulent. He is as confused as my brother. Both are lost in vices. While Aaron dumps himself and seeks escape, the great beast actually believes it to be Revelation. Yes, harem, harem confirmed. Uh, we're getting a lot of background. And I'm liking the story. 